Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I'll be reading, I'll be continuing the book of Psalms, starting with Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise, Rasit, Rasit, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones out against the stones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I don't want to offer any analysis of this chapter. Instead, I want to move to Psalm 138. Why am I so excited about this? Take a guess if you've been watching this series. You guessed right. I am excited about Psalm 138. Why? because it is a psalm of David. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship thy holy toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of God, of, of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud hath the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy. O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I don't want to offer any analysis of this chapter, but instead I will be moving to Psalm 139, which very beautifully is, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me, Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways, for there is not a word in my tongue. But lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee. But the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to me. For lo, thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there, were, there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them!
If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me there, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies they take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This Psalm 139, which I will spend, I can already tell you, I'll be spending the rest of the video talking about just this psalm, is a master class in terms of witnessing what a man whose heart is perfect with the Lord his God looks like. I talk about that concept often, and here I want to focus on the human David and not the divine Nairn. And I want to focus here in terms of by first getting a translation here. Psalm 139. Um, 139, excuse me. Because this verse is actually quite well known in, in reference to the Holy Spirit. The KJV again reads, Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I free from thy, thy presence? And so the idea is, um, I write about my omnipresence in the Gospel according to Lord Nairn White, chapter 7. And the idea is, you know, David is saying, There's nowhere I can go to avoid your spirit. And I, I just find that very beautiful. Because um, it's a way that David praises God in terms of his greatness. You know, when he talks about the omnipresence of the Spirit. And next, I want to um, t talk about the anger that David speaks with. Um, you know, so I, I think about the greatest men of the Bible. And without a doubt, David is one of them. So why do I feel so strongly uh, uh, regarding David, concerning David's greatness? Because David um, was the, the great king of Israel, who it's not about glorifying David's battle or military victories. It's looking at David for the humanity that he has and saying that, you know, when someone is angry, it's okay to tell God that you're feeling angry. And it's okay to feel anger against those that hate God and, and, and let's just let's just see what it says here you know because David David talks about he says in Psalm 139 19 and on surely thou wilt slay the wicked O God David is literally saying surely you will kill the wicked God so when I talk about when I say David is showing that it's it's okay to be still to still voice anger to God, I'm not at all saying go do wrong things like if it's if it, whether it's murder, whether it's you know covetousness, whether it's theft. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you say in a prayer, God, I'm feeling angry today. God isn't going to punish you for that. God isn't going to punish you for feeling anger if somebody has been mean to you. So read again. It says it says. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Look at the rage that David speaks with. He says, do not I hate them. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. David, of course, was talking about the pagan tribes that surrounded Israel during his time period. Yet, the words he wrote show such courage and strength and loyalty to God. He says, for they speak against thee wickedly. He's talking about God. And thine enemies take thy name in vain. That they're blaspheming God. They're blaspheming God, says David. He says, David says, do not I hate them. He says, I count them mine enemies. Then he says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me into the way everlasting. This 
is one of the greatest men in the Bible, the great King David. And with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked my software developer job and I've created this Daily Dive video for 8.31.23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.